Yo, what is up, YouTube? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys part 10 for my playthrough on Pokemon Sword. Before this video even starts, support the channel by scrolling down a little bit, smashing that like button, and clicking that big red subscribe button as it helps out tremendously. So, guys, in the last episode, we actually made our way through, what was it, Route 8, I believe? All along the river, got the water bike, complete the seventh gym. Now we're gonna be moving on and completing the last gym for this game. But right here, we got a double battle real quick. We're gonna be making our way left back to Hammerlock City and facing off against what is it, Raihan? Ruhan or something? The dragon gym leader. He is supposedly a beast. He can whoop on anybody. But we're hopping into this double battle. I will actually show you guys my Pokemon right after this in case you guys want to see. I leveled him up off screen. In my stream, actually, link will be in the description down below if you want to check me out there. I stream four plus days every single week. So here we go. We're starting off with a Dreadnought and Toxtricity. Ooh, looking good. Looking good right here. We're going to start off with a nice liquidation on the Toxtricity. Then we're going to go over to a Poison Jab over on the Maractus and probably take out the Maractus. But we're a pretty high level compared to these guys. These are 41. We're about 50. All my Pokemon are like uh, 49 to the 50 range. But there we go. Wipe out that Maractus in one hit. See you later. Night, 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 night. Liquidation is going to come out. I don't think this will take out the Toxtricity. Hopefully it will. Oh, yeah, dude. We're just so overleveled right now. We're just murking on people. We are just murking on people. Let's go. Graplock. What's Topsy Turvy you want to learn? What's this? It's a dark move. All stats change. Ah, now you're good right now. We don't need you to learn that right now. It's fine. But there we go. Beat both these music people right off the bat in this quick double battle before we actually get moving along here. We had some mean cash because we had the, uh, the amulet for double money. But here you go. I will show you guys my team real quick. We're rocking front spot with our level 49 Dreadnought. Following is a 51 tex or Toxtricity. Then our level 50 Grapplock. Level 51 Rillaboom. Level 51 Corviknight. And our level 50 Scorch. Dreadnought is rocking out in the front spot right now. So he's chilling. But let's get moving back to Hammerlock City. And see what all that commotion is about. Because as you guys do remember in the last episode... There was a giant boom, and uh, Leon had to go back to actually save the town and all that good stuff. So we're just trying to funnel our way through here. Of course, we cannot get through here. Are you serious? Okay, we're going to have to go all the way around. <laughs> Nobody would just uh, give us like a quick scoot out the way for us. It was hugs and junk, man. But here we go. We got, ooh, Hops just chilling here, and a bunch of live parts. Jeans. Take a look at the news. See, there's Lee. He's really the greatest, right? Look at him. He took down a Dynamax. Meowth, well, glaring Meowth. Lee and his Charizard and took down the Dynamax Pokemon in the blink of an eye. I knew Lee was strong, but this really makes you appreciate how great he is. Hey, let's go meet up with him, Jeans. He should be back at Hammerlock Stadium. All right, dude, let's get rolling out here. Let's go meet him back at Hammerlock Stadium. I'm actually pretty hyped to actually go verse him. We're gonna, or not verse him, to go verse the eighth gym leader. We'll, we'll eventually verse the lead later. But whoa, do we haven't even hit up this path yet? This was right to the right of Route 7 before we actually head up to uh, Sir Chester City. But we're making our way back here. We got a battle real quick. He has a dude weight right here. I'm trying to think how my, uh, what's it called, will do against this. My Dreadnought. I think we'll be fine. Let's see. Oh, 44. Yeah, dude, we're chilling. We're chilling. Jawlock super effective, so he'll die in one hit. See you later, dude blade. Yo, <laughs> No, we will not do this thing's a tank. This thing's a legit tank. Jeez. Jeez. I thought it wasn't a tank till like you got it to be Angie Slash. Because that's that's when it gets its chill. I thought this thing was just like all attack, considering it's just swords. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? There we go. Do Blade Fainted. We are murking out on these fools right now. Let's go. He has two other Pokemon. Our Dreadnought does level up, which is just dandy. A Polter, guys. We're gonna keep our current Pokemon because I believe a uh, Jawlock will still be super effective, right? I'm actually not too sure. I actually never burst one of these guys. So we'll see. Let's go. Let's see how Jawlock does. Oh, yeah, dude. Get out my face. Get out my face, little Poltergeist. I actually do not have one of them. I have a Sinistee, but I do not have the Poltergeist. I believe you need a giant teapot in order to get him. This is Passimian. He's actually... What is he? I'm just going to go with our Corviknight. Is he fighting? What is he? I think he might just be Psychic, which would be a bad turn of events if we throw out a Corviknight. <laughs> But I hope we can actually one-shot this bad boy. I believe he... He's not fighting. I think he's just psychic, actually. I thought he was going to be fighting. Just a little odd. Okay, no. He is part fighting, so Drill Pack will actually take him out. And one hit. Night, night. Little monkey dude. Get out of here. There's only room for Rillaboom. That actually rhymed, which is pretty nice. There you go. Kicks this little coconut out of the way and falls back. <laughs> but there we go. Um, Set the Scorch will level up. And Corviknight to 52 and 51. Anyone want to learn move? Nope, but there we go. We defeated Gentleman Caden right here. He's going to give us some mean cash for one. Jeez, 17 grand. But there we go. We defeat him. Now we can start making our way back towards Hammerlock. We kind of caught all these Pokemon right here. My Pokedex is starting to felt. We are past the 50% mark. We have over 
200 of the Pokemon call out of the 400. But here we go. We make our way back to Hammerlock. We don't even have to heal up our Pokemon, I don't think. I don't even think we have to heal up our Pokemon. We're just chilling and murking on everybody in this game, dude. Let's go. Do we crush it right now? We're going to head back to the middle spot right here, which I believe Hop and everybody should be waiting for us right here. We're going to use our speed up. Oh, yeah, dude. Here they all are. Here's Leon, Sonya, and Hop chilling here. Over here. What's up? What's up, Hop? How you doing? Well, if it isn't Jeans, I'd expect nothing less from you and your Charizard, Leon. You took down that Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all. Well, I am the unbeatable champion after all, but what's all going on here? An overflowing red light Pokemon Dynamax in without a power spot? Yeah, but why? I'm not sure what's going on. That red light could suddenly appear again at any time and we'd have no way of knowing. But being able to predict such things is part of a scientist's work. Oh, we got this new character. It's Sonya's grandma. After talking to Sonya's grandma, she actually references to the prophecy how it could be the darkest day, which was one of the prophecies where, like, everything, like, starts going crazy in the town of Galer, or Galar, and everything, and then the two heroes come and save it. But we're actually going to be making our way inside this castle and defeating the eighth and final gym for this game, dude. It's crazy. This will be the last gym challenge. It is actually a dragon gym, cha gym challenge. We're actually going to be leading with our Dreadnought right here. Dude, I am ready. I am ready. My Pokemon are pretty leveled up here. I think we should be fine just doing dandy here. Fix my headphones, be chillin'. Look at that. Switch out into a uniform. And I always like the way this uh castle looks. Kind of reminds me, gives me that Harry Potter feel. <laughs> like if you guys ever been to Universal, the Harry Potter ride, you know, the whole castle looks exactly like this. <laughs> Let's go head inside the Dragon Gym. I cannot wait to actually fill our pendant up and get that last badge, which is gonna be awesome. I'm hyped for what's going on. Why is this one loading so long? There we go. But look, there are the prophecies if you guys didn't know it. Right there, the hero see a wishing star. It's like doomsday, they get the shield and sword, and then they they, like, save the town. Jeans, time to explain the Great Ran Gym mission. Let's see. The rules are simple. All you gotta do is defeat three gym trainers that I personally trained in double battles. Woo! Ooh wee Let's go, dude. We got double battles. We don't really do these often, but who are in my top... Can I change Pokemon? I didn't know it was gonna be a double battle. You're not gonna let me change? Don't you dare then. I'll be like, bruh. What you mean? Of course, he doesn't let me ch change. We're doing double battles right here. I got my Toxtricity and my Dreadnought rocking in the front spot. I would rather have somebody else... Oh, a Slicko and a Pelipper. Actually, my Toxtricity actually comes in clutch here. I thought this was a Dragon Gym. Why do you have a Pelipper out here? You know what I'm saying? Why is there a Pelipper out here? He's going to use Drizzle. Make it start raining. Like, get out of my face, little boy. Get out of my face, little boy. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to uh, Rock Tomb. Now, we're actually going to... Uh, we're going to go for the Scald on the Slicko right here. And then we're just going to... Uh, we're just going to discharge the whole team. We're just going to discharge the whole team. That's why I wish I had Thunderbolt or something. Sorry, Dreadnought. Oh! I <laughs> killed the Dreadnought. I didn't think I would kill the Dreadnought. I thought he was tanking up. Jeez. <laughs> okay. All right. I messed up. I done messed up. This is why I wish I had just like Thunderbolt so I could just zap one person. Jeez, dude. I didn't think that would kill him. Are you kidding me? So he's going to do a nice little Dragon Pulse on us. We're going to switch out to our Grab Block. Grab Block's gonna go in there, hit some fighting moves up. He also has a water move just in case the fighting is not very effective and all that good stuff. Let's get rolling here. We're gonna brick break this Sligu up. Dude, Sligu's final stage is nasty. We gotta go with the poison jab right here. Poison jab. Toxtricity. Yeah, you yeah, baby. Take him out. There we go. Sligu's dead, and we murked on that first battle. Does he have any other Pokemon? I don't believe he does. He would have thrown one out there. But there we go. There, that is the first battle. Toxtricity wants to lose. Magnetic flux. What does this do? It's an electric move. The user manipulates magnetic fields, which raises the defense, especially defense of all allied Pokemon. Plus, my eh, nah. No, why can't you just learn like Thunderbolt or Thunder? It would be nice. I could get rid of Discharge. <laughs> but there we go. Give me all that cash, little boy. Let me heal up my Dreadnought. Please let me heal up my Dreadnought. Probably not. They're just gonna come in one on one right here. Then we're just gonna have to get Merc in here. Let's go. It's Camila, the second trainer, dude. But I love the way Break Hand looks. Kind of has like a dragon helmet on or like a hat. Just looks sick. Just looks awesome. Oh, wow. I could have healed up my Treadnall. They gave me time in between. Bogus. Bogus. I should have healed him up. Ninetales and Turtonator. This actually would have been good to actually have my Treadnall. But we have a Grab Block who does have a water move, which is just awesome. Oh, Ninetales is going to start a drought. It's going to boost all fire type moves. So it's going to be good for them, actually. It's going to be good for them. We're going to start off with a nice little poison jab going over to this Turtonator. And then we're going to take out. The Ninetales with this waterfall right here from our grab block. What the heck is that? Is that his ability? He, he set a shell trap. What's that do? I have no idea what that does. There we go. Nice little damage there. Oh! 
And a boy toxicity gets off that poison. He used Shell Trap. What'd that do? Wow. Wow. That move is phenomenal. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. It hits both of our Pokemon. It takes out our Toxtricity. And then they're eventually going to take out our Grappla. We're going to have to do some mean healing up after this battle. Jeez, that did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. I guess his uh, special attack is Poo Poo. Compared to his regular attack. Jeez, dude. And we're burned. How we get burned? Oh, yeah, we're Willow Wisp. That's why. That is why. We're going to send out our Corviknight right here. Do some work. Let me fix my headphones right here. We chillin', we chillin'. Still in this battle. Got an itch on my ear and all that stuff. That's the worst thing about wearing headphones. When you have itch on your ears, you have to take off your headphones. Because you cannot get to them. Oh, I'm going to Brave Bird this Nine Tails. I'm going to Brave Bird this Nine Tails. Then we're just going to, uh... I think our, um, Brick Break would actually do more, considering he's just a physical attacker. Grab block. He's going to set up another Shell Trap. Jesus, dude, this thing's gonna start murking on us. Who's he going after? Graplock's dead. No! Graplock, no! Bye-bye, <laughs> Graplock. It's fine. We gotta go with our Sense Scorch. We cannot roll out with our What's It Called here. Look at this Brave Bird. I never use this move. Jeez! Jeez, Corb Knight whooped on him, but we're gonna take some recoil damage here, I believe so. Unless they change it. Yeah, dude, some decent recoil damage, about 30. Everyone's gonna get some XP. Except for the ones who are dead, this Shell Trap's gonna go off. No, it... Didn't it hit us, or did we just miss the attack? But nice little poison going on here. Now we can send out our Sense Scorch, because we cannot have a Rillaboom out here throwing a Fire Pokemon out here. It's just going to Merc on us. But so we'll play Fire with Fire. You guys know the rules. <laughs> We're just going to go a nice little Drill Peck here, and then into a nice little Crunch. This thing will be dead with one hit once Corviknight goes off. This Tornado moves pretty quick. Is that his ability? I don't think he's using a move. I think he's just setting up the move. I think he sets up that move, and then he uses that move. I'm not too sure. I never had a Turtonator. There we go. Get some XP and finish off that battle. We got to heal up our Pokemon here before we take on the third gym battle. Let's go. Let's roll out into this last battle. It's a double battle right here. I switched up my Pokemon and I healed them up. So we got Dreadnought in the front spot and Rillaboom following him up right here. But I haven't really seen like a Dragon Pokemon. There we go. A Hakamo. But why isn't it a Jagamo? Should be the last stage, right? Is that what? No, it's a Konamo. That's what the final stage is. But... I'm surprised we haven't seen a lot of dragon Pokemon here. I guess maybe when we burst Ray Hand, we'll be just whooping on him. But we're going to go with a nice little Lockjaw right off the bat on a bomb of snow. And then we're going to go with a, uh... Hmm. Actually, we're going to switch this up. We're going to switch this up. No, we're not. No, we're not. J Jaw Lock on the bomb of snow. Then we're going to go with a nice little Drum Beating on the Hakamo. Let's go. Is it Hakamomo? Is that how you pronounce it? Let's go. Drum Beating. I don't think this is very effective. Yeah, see, it's not very effective, but it does do a decent amount of damage right there. I didn't want to just slam him up because I feel like slam would have done less damage. And we could have dropped his speed like we just did. There we go. Nice little jaw lock there. Brings him down just about the half. Now he cannot run away. He's going to use Aurora Veil right here, which I believe gives his team health or it will raise his stat. Let's see. It's stronger against special type moves. Okay. Noble Roar. Wow. What's that do? That was pretty cool. i never seen that move. His attack falls and his special attack falls, and we all get buffeted by a hill, except for Obama Snow. Even the Dragon Will, which is not bad. He doesn't? What you mean? What you mean? All right, we're going with this Skull. We're going for this Burn right here. We're going for this Burn right here, and then we're going to go with a Wood Hammer to actually take out this Hakamomo. Hakamo-o. Is that how? Hakamo-o. I think that's how you pronounce it. That didn't take him out? Are you serious? I thought that would, considering the drum beating brought him down more than that. So going to Scald him up. That's not very effective. I'm looking for the Burn here. Ah, no burn, no burn. He's gonna... Mm. Oh, deals damage to both. That's gonna deal some nice work on our uh, Rillaboom. Jeez. That's fine, that's fine. We're chilling, we're chilling. Our speed's gonna fall. That's bogus. Noble Roar comes at us once again. Oh, coming at our Rillaboom this time. He's gonna drop our attack here for our Rillaboom. Dang. So hopefully we can actually kill the Konamo here and the... What's it called? The Bomb of Snow with the Jaw Lock. I don't think we actually can considering our attack has dropped right here. But we're going to go for it. We're definitely going to go. This Hakamo should be dead. It should be dead. Let's go. Drum beating, baby. What you want? Bill, Bill, Bill. Die, die, die. Ah! Are you kidding me? Things on one. It's legit on one right now. Let's go, Obama Snow. Our attack is so low right now, it is ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. He's going to Icy Win us up again. This is such a bad pairing. I have no good moves to go up against all these guys. It's just terrible. It's just terrible. And our attack and speed keeps falling. Our stats are poo-poo right now. He's going to take out my real boom right here. And actually, no, he's not. Actually, this hail is. What a way to die off. By the hail. It's hailing, so I'm just going to take damage and die. But now I'm bringing out big dogs. They made me bring out big dog. 
We're going with my boy Santa Scorch. Who wants it? Who's up next? Santa Scorch will be able to take out this Obama Snow. And then our Dreadnought is just going to murk on this Hakamoto right here. Let's go jaw lock it. Now we're just going to, uh, we're just going to liquidation this Hakamo. And then we're just going to go flame wheel on this Obama Snow, which it will just totally murk. He should go first. Santa Scorch, say bye to Obama Snow. Boom! See you later. It is two times effective because he's grass and ice right there. So with that fire, he's just murked. Just absolutely slaughtered on right there. Liquidation's gonna come out and finish off this Hakamo right here. See you later. We're gonna grab the XP. The final stage, what is it, Jagamo? Or is it Konamo or something? It's one of them. Looks nasty, dude. Looks so sick. He has all different scales. He's a big boy. He's just an absolute unit. But we're gonna be moving on to the final gym challenge right here against Rayhan, right? I believe so. Let's see what he has. Nice one, GG. You completed my gym mission. Come on, time to head to the gym stadium. You you earned the right to face me yourself. Let's go! Let's go. We're going to heal up our Rillaboom and all of our other Pokemon before we actually move along here. I got this Max Revive. We're just going to give it to our Rillaboom and then a nice little Super Potion to our Dreadnought. We'll do the work perfectly. But who are we going to be starting off with right here? Say if he's a Dragon type. Hmm. I don't even know. I don't even know. I think we're going to give uh, Sense Scorch our front spot right now. Let's go, Sense Scorch. Get up in there, boy. Get up in there, Sense Scorch. I love actually starting with him because he is so versatile. He can hit in many different ways, and he has a couple different moves. He has a bug move, he has a dark move, and he has a fire move. So he's very versatile in battling people that I don't really know what they're going to have. I know this is a dragon guy, but I haven't seen dragon Pokemon from all of the trainers and all that. So we're going to be hopping into this battle right here. I heard he's very strong. That's what they've been saying in the game and all that. All the trainers are like, oh, dude, this guy's the real deal. He's the real deal besides Leon. Even Leon said that. Yo, look at that Machoke in the back. There was a poster of him drinking like a protein shake. <laughs> Let's go. First and right hand right here. He's going to send out. Yo, they're double battles. Gigalith and Flygon here. Jeez. So we got this rock and fire type, right? This isn't even part of dragon, is it? Well, I seen a Gigalith, so I can see what we have that will be super effective. Flygon is actually Dragon and Dark or Dragon and Flying. I'm not too sure here. Well, let's go. He has a Sandstorm going off with this Flygon. Let's see what we can do here. We have an effective Crunch. We're going to go Crunch on this uh, Flygon right here. And then we're going to float over to the super effective Drum Beating on this Gigalith and say, probably Night Night to him. <laughs> let's go. He's going to use Break and Swipe. Jeez, hit us both. Do some nice work on both of us and drop our attack. Wow, just on our... Uh, What's it called? A real boom. And that actually might keep this Gigalith alive. Let's see. It will keep this Gigalith alive right here. Only bring him down to half, which isn't bad, but we dropped his speed, even though he wasn't too fast to start off with. Nice little crunch by Senta Scorch. Beautiful damage. Let's go. Gigalith's gonna rock blast on us and actually kill our Senta Scorch right here. See you later, Senta Scorch. I didn't know this guy was rocking a Gigalith. He said he used dragon types. Like, you guys know what I'm saying? This is crazy. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna faint right here. We're going to take some buff by the Sandstorm, and then we're going to roll out with our Toxtricity here. Because we have... Oh, no! I need Thunderbolt! I need Thunderbolt, but it's lucky we got Poison Jab and all that, and we can start Toxicking things and all that. But we're going to uh, go with our... Hmm. Let's see. Does this do any work? It's not very effective with both of them. We're just going to put a Poison on Flygon. We are actually just going to put a Poison on Flygon, because we don't want to hit our... Real boom right here, and then we're gonna take out this Gigalith right here with this drum beating. Actually, we might not if this drops our attack again. If this drops our attack again for our real boom, it won't be nice. Okay, it went on our toxicity and the real boom. No, okay, we will not be able to take out this Gigalith. I'm hoping maybe we can get a crit or something to take him out, but we'll see. Take him out, take him out, take him out. See, I told you since our attack is minus two right now, we're not doing the damage that we need to be. But let's go, we're gonna get this toxic off on this fly gun. It's gonna start doing work on him so we can be able to take him out. It's not bad, not bad. He's gonna use Sand Tomb right here. Jeez, dude, this Gigalith's actually pretty strong. That's some nice moves. Oh my god, dude, so versatile right now on us. <laughs> crit it! A Sand Tomb crit it and took out my Toxicity. What you mean? This guy is actually pretty strong. Even though our Pokemon are a little bit higher, he's playing them very well and all that. But we got this Toxic down on this Flygon. It'll start doing work in just a second. Who's coming out? Corviknight, get out there, dude. Big dog, Corviknight. We can actually, um... Take out that Gigalith with the Corviknight and then take a strong attack on the, what's it called, the Flygon. A nerve. What you want? <laughs> uh, we're just going to go with the Drill Pack. Can we go with the, yeah, we're just going to hit it on the Flygon. And then we're just going to go with the knockoff on the Gigalith. Actually, no, we want to secure this Gigalith. Being dead, so we're going to go with the Drum Beating right here. Just in case you use a potion or something, we get some more damage off. Why do these Pokemon have everything that is countering me? <laughs> Jeez, dude. Here we go. Give a smack, smack. See you later, Gigalith. Our real boom. We're going to have to switch out our real boom if we can. His attack is poo-poo right now. Minus two. 
It's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. We're going to do some work right here. Roboom did level up, though. And we're going to drill Peck up on this Flygon right here. There we go. And take him out. Beautiful, dude. My Corviknight is nice and strong. He's going to be whooping on these guys. But we got two more Pokemon left right now. Level 53 to my boy. Can the Sandstorm subside? We got sick of it. Darulodon. Jeez, dude. Look at this Dragon Pokemon. This is He's new, dude. He's so sick. And a Sandaconda, which is actually nice. We can actually wood hammer down on the Sandaconda right here with our uh, Rillaboom. Let's go here. We're going to go with a uh, nice little Drill Peck on this Darulodon. And then we're going to go over to a... No, not a Slam. Not a Slam. We're going to go to a wood hammer on this Sandaconda. Hopefully take it out. What's he going to do? Oh, he's Gigamaxing that Sandaconda, isn't he? Isn't he? Oh, no, he's not. I thought he was. Yes, he is. <laughs> I was like, what is he doing? Then the Gigamax is Sandaconda or the Duraludon. Let's see. I think it's... No, it's the Duraludon. Dude, this guy looks sick. Looks like a building, like a skyscraper. <laughs> I still have the Dynamax, one of my Pokemon. I think we might go roll out with our Corviknight. We'll see in a second. Woodhammer. See you later. Hopefully, this can do the work. Nope. Our attack's down, like I said. And then we do some recoil damage, which isn't a big deal. It's going to use Max Steel Spike on our Rillaboom. See you later, Rillaboom. Peace out, Girl Scout. We have... Who's left? Grab Block we're going to have to send out. And we're going to have to Giga Max Grab Block. I think that's our last choice, right? Or our Dreadnought. Hmm. I think we're going to send out our Dreadnought here. And Giga Max our Dreadnought. Wow, Drill Peck is not very effective. Jeez. I thought it could do some work on him. He's going to glare up on our... And paralyze our Corporate Nightmare. Right Jeez, this is actually a close battle. It's actually a really close battle. We're going to send out our Dreadnought and actually... Dynamax or Dreadnought here and try to get some work done here. I think these are his last two Pokemon, right? I believe so. I believe so. Yeah, these are his only two Pokemon. We're going to go off with a, uh, we're going to go off with this, uh, Sandaconda. And then we're going to Dynamax him and go with Max Geyser and make everything water. Because <laughs> if this, uh, if our Corviknight does not kill our, kill the Sandaconda, we'll have Max Geyser that hits all them guys right there. Which is nice, which is nice. Wait, does it hit my Corviknight too? I hate how you can hit your own teammates. I just hate that so much. Bogus, but look at our boy. <laughs> nice Dreadnought, dude. He's a unit. Absolute unit right here. Oh, whoa. Dreadnought's going to use Max Knuckle. That's going to take us out, isn't it? No, it's not, dude. Tanking. Nom, 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 nom. Eating that, all that damage up. Let's get it, yo. Get out my face, little boy. Let's go. What else we got going on here? Max Geyser popping off here. See you later, Sandaconda. The Raldana, hopefully we can do some nice damage to you. Oh, it doesn't hit the Sandaconda? I thought it doubles up. It's not very effective. Why did... I thought it doubled up. Bogus, dude. We're getting eaten up out here. <laughs> He's gonna glare us, dude. That's a paralyzed, isn't it? Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. All right, Joe, pack that. Take it out, please. Take it out, please. Yes, all right. Sandaconda is gone. I, oh, what's Sand Spit do? Oh, he kicks up a sandstorm at the end of here. Dude, jeez. This guy's team is strong. It's very strong. It's countering everything that we have. We have no ice, fairy, or dr dragon type. That is our only weakness. And, of course, it's the 8th gym. So, grab blocks on level. If we still have grab block rocking the back line. And we can heal up if we have to. But I don't think we're going to need to. We're going to go with the steel wing. Actually, we're going to go with a swagger on the Duraludon. We're going to play bold here. Then we're going to go with max darkness on the Duraludon. Try to do some work on him. So, he's going to use max knuckle on our Dynamax. Uh, Dreadnought once again and not be able to take it out if we don't paralyze here We should be fine getting off this dark attack, but his attacks gonna race. Jeez. We're gonna boost his attack again We better hope he hits himself with his confusion. Oh My god, this thing's a tank. This thing is a tank. We're gonna race his attacks out once again What this drop attack his special defense. That's actually pretty good, but we're gonna swagger. How do you avoid the swagger? Jesus man, why is he avoiding our attack? That's nuts. This battle is crazy right here we're going to go with the Seal Wing, do some more work on him. Then we're going to go with the, uh... We're going to go with Max Rockfall. Let's see if we can do some work with him. Considering his special defense is down, this is a special move. Body press, we're dead. Woo! We got a battle. We have a battle here, ladies and gentlemen. He is rocking out. This still Raladon is rocking out of my Pokemon. If he had six, he probably would have murked on me. But I feel like we have this match in the bag. Once we get out or what's called... Ooh, what's just raised? Our defense rose, which is nice. We gotta send out grab block. Dude, this guy is strong, man. This guy is strong. I cannot stress that enough. Jeez. All right, let's roll out here. We're gonna go with, uh... We're gonna go with another steel wing here. Try to raise our defense. And then we're just gonna go with a nice little, uh... Nice little brick break here. Try to get some damage off on him. 
I was gonna superpower, but I cannot I cannot force it. Double hit, our Pokemon will be fine here. We'll be fine. Just the Raladon's an absolute unit. I never heard something so strong. <laughs> brick brick coming out. There we go. Super effective. He should be done after we hit him with this steel wing. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. The no, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? How isn't he dead? He really didn't die from that? We finish him off here. If he kills his boats with like, oh, he's gonna Stone Edge. Just our Corviknight. Our Corviknight will take that out. Eat it up. Mwah, 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 mwah. Eat that up. Take him out with the Brick Brick. And guys, now I can say we defeated all eight gyms for Pokemon Sword. Let's get it. Now all that is left is travel up to Windendon. Is that what's called Windon? The final city. Take on the champion, baby. And we still have to catch the legendaries. What? <laughs> Let's go, baby. I'm hyped. Give me that 8th gym badge. That was the toughest battle of this whole game. Honestly, honestly. I think it's just because I didn't have anything to counter that. I had no ice, no fairy, or no dragon. But yo, look at that badge! That looks sick, dude. I want like a replica of that on my wall. Just a big pendant of all the badges right there. That'd be dope. That'd be so dope. I wonder what move we're going to get. It'd be nice to get like Dragon Claw or something. That would be awesome. Get a nice Dragon Claw TM. Ooh, baby. Let's see. Yo, Rayham, what's up, big dog? You got, what do you got for me? What do you got for me? Breaking swipe, okay, that was that two hit dragon move for double battles, that worked out pretty nice right there. It really did, that was awesome. And we get the dragon uniform awesome, also, which is nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, what do we have to do from here? Let's make our way outside this gym here and find out where we have to go from here. Probably gonna have a cutscene like normal when we pop out of the gyms. Yes, like I said right here, we got Sonia and Sonia's grandma right here. She says, you gave her hand a good thrashing and that means you complete the gym challenge. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. I really wish we could go celebrate, but I think there's some things we should talk over. All right, let's go. Awesome, awesome. We talked to Sonia and her grandma right there. And they just say head to Windon and talk about the Pokemon Sword and Shield Pokemon. And we actually have to head to Windon from the Pokemon Station, which I believe is it up here. We need to find the train station. Where's the train station at? Oh, I never been up here. We got a strawberry sweet right here. But where's that train station at? I gotta find that bad boy. Is this the train station? I believe this could be the train station. Let's head inside here and check it out. Show me it's the train station. It looks like it's just a cafe. With a train station? It does have a train station. Yes! <laughs> My boy Hob is here. Don't tell me we have to battle him. Don't you dare tell me we have to battle hop. I'm not battling him. He's talking here with Rayhan and all that. He's going to say, battle your way to the champion. We got to head towards Winden. That's his, like I've been saying, we have to travel there. That's where the champion is at. That is where Leon is and the battle stadium. So let's go. We're going to head there. There's also a couple other things we have to do there while we're there. Check us out, yo. We are on the other side. We are heading towards Winden. I think we have to travel up a route. I think we have to make our way up a route right here. Yeah, route 10 right here. It is a nice icy path right here. Tons of different ice type Pokemon that we probably haven't seen before, so it's gonna be awesome. I believe that you can actually have a 1% chance of catching Duraludon over here and somewhere over here, so we're just gonna hopefully get him in this video. <laughs> if we see him, I'm not gonna worry about <gasps> Is that a Mr. Rhyme? Is that a Mr. Rhyme? What you mean? I wanna catch this boy. Look at him, Galarian Mr. Mime. Oh, and then he evolves into Mr. Rhyme. Okay, it's Galarian Mr. Mime. Yo, get in my Pokeball, little boy. Get in my Pokeball. I slapped you with the fire spin. Now you're going to get inside here. Come on. Show me a third shake. Click it. Click it. Let's go, baby. It's actually nice that we have our Santa Scorch, considering probably all these trainers on this route will have ice Pokemon, so we'll be able to just flame wheel out, slap them up real quick. I'm still waiting for this guy to learn some better moves, maybe like Overheat, Fire Blast, or Flamethrower, which would be nice. And of course, this guy doesn't have an ice Pokemon. He has his dang Gardevoir over here. That's fine. We're chilling here. We're going to give it the quick little weapons real quick. And it is hailing. Everything is just effective. So we're just going to go straight for this flame wheel right here. This thing usually does work. Should bring it down past half, in my opinion. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I was, yeah, was going to say low yellow, but she's going to calm mine here. Just raise her stats. All that good stuff. Let's go. We'll be able to finish this off with like a bug bite or something. But I do not want to go for the bug bite. That's the thing. That is the thing. Actually, yeah, I kind of do want to go for the bug bite. I like looking at it. It's like a bunch of little bugs biting her. Ready? Look at it. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> See you later, Gardevoir. And I love the Pokemon that we burst now because we get so much XP. And they're just all third stage and they all look cool. So it's nice to always do battle trainers and all that. But there we go. Defeat him. Give me my cash. 5,000 smackaroos. Smackaroos right here. Let's trudge up here with our bike. Yeah, boy. 
Yeah, boy, look at this. What are you guys? Is this a trainer right here? It is a trainer. This is usually one of those guys that sell you stuff for watts in the wild area. So that's why I was just like, is he a trainer or not? Yeah, Hiker Douglas right here. Show me a nice type Pokemon. Oh, I'll take a steel one. That's fine, dude. Our Scent of will be able to flame wheel this bad boy up. I don't think we're one shot, considering his defense is probably through the roof. This thing's an absolute tank, and his HP is high. But we're still going to go with the flame wheel. Do some work on him. We actually might. We got, what do we have, a 7 level advantage? 7 or 6 level? See, I knew it wouldn't take it out. Down to half. This thing's an absolute unit. Um, Do I switch out the... I don't know. I was going to switch out the Corviknight here, but it's not a big deal. It really isn't. I'm just going to throw a fire spin. I know we're going to miss. Blah, 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 because this thing dug. This thing might take it out. No. Okay, it's not super effective. I thought it was... Why did I think it was going to be super effective? I don't know. We're chilling, but our Sense Scorch will be able to give this Steelix to Merkin right here. I want him out of my face right now, little boy. <laughs> Let's go. Yay. Spin. Bob. See you later. Out of here, Steelix. Give me all that juicy XP. But, yo, since we beat the 8th gym, we can actually catch Pokemon over to level 60 so we can catch anything in the wild area and start completing up our Pokedex. So, the next stream that we do will actually be a big stream. So... I don't even know what he said he was setting out, but I'll keep my sense scorch. What is it? A mud cell. Dang, we should have switched. But like I said, my next stream is going to be a big stream, so make sure you follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description below. We're going to be completing the Pokedex and all that good stuff. And not too big of damage with Crunch right here. Oh! Oh! High horsepower doing some work on us. Oh! We're going to keep our sense... No, we're not going to keep... Yeah, we are going to keep our sense scorch alive. We're going to go... No. I think he can kill. I think he can kill. Kill it. Come on. I'm open on you. Nope. I lied. <laughs> Shouldn't change. But, yo, this high horsepower move is sick. There's a backwards donkey kick right to the jaw of Sense Scorch. <laughs> and he says, get out my face, you little loser. <laughs> there we go. Get buffeted by the hail. We're just going to send out a real boom so we get the double cash because he has that luck incense. Still on him from the second gym. That was my best purchase in this game right here. So we can rack up the cash right here. We're going to go with the drum beating. Just to make sure he dies, just in case he uses a potion and goes full health, we can take him out in one hit either way. Pew, pew, pew. See you later, Mudsdale. Bye, dude. Mudsdale's so cool. We got the little dreadlocks going down on him. Giant horse Pokemon. He looks sick. There we go. Get some mean XP. And there we go. We defeat the trainer. Onward! Onward, people! There's a glaring Mr. Mime right there. Oh my god, there's a bomb of snow over there. I saw it at the corner of my eye. We're gonna actually hop off our bike right here, but I healed up my sense score, so we're chilling. Look at it. A bomb of snow is just chilling here. We got this random encounter. I wanna see who it is. Is this someone we don't have? <gasps> we do not have a bear tick. We have a chubbachu. It's first stage, but I would like to actually catch this thing right here. Look at this bear tick's HP. It is on legit one. I hit it with a flame wheel, and I thought it was gonna die, but I actually just ended up putting it all on one HP, so... Oh, a critical catch. I thought he was popping out, man. We got a nice little crit catch. Onward, jeans, onward. We're going to get moving over here. We got this trainer right here. We're going to have to give him the quick old little markings right here. We got a lot of trainers on this path. But this is what we're going to be doing for this episode. Since we beat the eight gym here, we're just going to be making our up to Windon. Up this route, catching the Pokemon, defeating all the trainers. And we're going to be calling it there. Because in the next episode, we're going to be whooping on, I think it's like the battle arena. And maybe catching our legendary. Maybe. We'll see, dude, which I am actually very hyped for. But we are getting closer and closer to defeating this game right here. This Weavile is going to outspeed us one of the fastest Pokemon in this game. Besides Dragapult. Dragapult is up there. Its base speed is way higher than Weavile's, which is ridiculous. His speed is unreal. Let's go. Let's get this flame wheel off. See you later, boy. See you later. But, yeah, we, we are going to have only a couple episodes left in order to finish up this playthrough here, which I'm actually very excited for. Very, very excited. Who did he say? I didn't even read who he was showing up. Claydol, that's not too bad. I mean, can we do anything to it? Yeah, I, I thought our crunch would be super effective, which is beautiful. Hopefully, this I don't think it will take it out. This thing's pretty tanky. Nah, see, it didn't take it out. Let's go. He's going to use Earth Power right here. Not, it's, I don't think he's going to do too much damage to us right here. Yeah, we're going to soak that up like a sponge. Like a sponge right there. And we'll be able to finish off this clay doll with our crunch. With our nice little crunch action here. Then we got another trainer right up to the left, but we have a little path that we can loop around and catch another Pokemon off to the side there, which is just wonderful, which is just awesome. Let's go. Give me all that XP points, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this Mr. Rhyme chilling there. Get or no, that's Mr. Mime. It's clearly Mr. Mime right there. We got a comment chart. Any new Pokemon? I don't think so. Yo, get this Mr. Oh, Sneasel, leave me alone. I'm just going to go battle this guy right here. <laughs> There we go. We can battle this guy and keep moving along. I think I caught most of the ice Pokemon. Except for Duraludon who spawns here. 
But I, you, he spawns somewhere else in the wild area too, which I know. Oh, Corviknight. Is Fire Super effective to Corviknight? Because he's part steel? Hmm. I'm not too sure. I think it would just be like a regular hit. Let's see. Let's give it a quick peek. Oh, it is super effective. Beautiful! Yes, dude. Our sense course is just running stuff up on this ice path right here. There we go. Nice damage. And all these Pokemon are strong. This is actually going to be super effective to us. Eee! Hopefully this uh, hail doesn't take us out. Ooh, one HP. One HP surviving here. We're actually going to take out the Sense of Scorch or the what's called here, the Corviknight here. But will the ice actually still buff it? Or will we be able to have a chance to actually change our Pokemon? That is the real question. Let's go. Corviknight to 54. I like to see that. Grab box 52. And all Sense Scorch level up. And he wants to run Fire Lash. 80. The user strikes with target Burner Lash. Just, oh, yeah, dude. Uh, Fire Spin or Flame Wheel? Uh, fire spin or flame wheel. We're gonna go with flame wheel. Five flame wheel. You were an awesome move. I loved you so much, but fire lash is just better than that. And I want to keep fire spin so we can trap people in vortexes if needed. Can we switch out or are we gonna get hailed? Oh no! We're not even gonna be able to show off the move. The hail took us out here. We're chilling. We're gonna go. I don't even know what his next Pokemon is. I'm just gonna play it safe. Go with my boy Graplock here. I feel like he's gonna be able to murk. I feel like it's like a Mr. Rhyme or something. A Flygon. Not a Flygon here. Let's see, let's see. Effective, effective. We're just gonna go with the Brick Break here. I was gonna Octo Lock him up here. I'm gonna use EQ. Oh no! EQ is such a strong move. Such a strong move. Let's go with the Brick Break. Yeah, you do some nice damage. There you go. There you go, Grap Lock. Let's go, buddy. We can actually finish off this Flygon with another Brick Break. Actually end off this battle. Give me all your cash. He's gonna EQ again. Jeez, dude. Flygon's a beast. Flygon is an absolute unit. <laughs> there you go. Get Karate jumped. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye, Flygon. There we go. We can actually finish off this battle and keep moving along with Route 10. You guys call it Route or Route 10? I don't know. I think I feel like you could say them both either way. Keep moving along here. We got this grass over here. We got a Mr. Mime, Glary, Mr. Mime, another Glary, Mr. Mime. Any newbies? I thought I just heard something new, or was that just the Mr. Mime sound? Nope, it was the uh, Snowverse sound right here. A bear tick showing here. We got all this. We got the Poke Camp. What is this trainer? Nope, it's just a Poke Camp right here. And we got this bottle of PP up. Ooh, baby, that's actually very good. That's actually a nice little move or item right there. Anything over here? We're gonna give us one quick peek. Yo, Bear Tick! What you mean? Why is this boy coming after us? We can actually go down here. I was gonna say there's gotta be a TM lurking around here or something. We got Chubbachu right there. Any TMs? No TM, but we got this Pokeball. We got Power Herb. Right here, which actually is a solid item for competitive play and all that. Let's check out this random encounter. Let's check out this random encounter. Anything new? Anything new? No, we already have a vanilla ice. Vanilla ice, dude. I love this ice cream Pokemon. This cone is literally just ice. It's just solid ice, which is kind of funny. It's kind of funny, but we're just going to hit the run, bounce, boogie, and skiddle. And start heading our way up to Winden, dude. Let's go. Let's get up here. Let's get up to Winden. Through this grass. And now we can battle this trainer. And then get going along. How many? Oh, there's a couple trainers up on this pad. A couple, actually. Because uh, I saw one right up to the left. It was probably behind my face cam. But I don't know if we have any more after that. We got Hiker Donald right here. Sending out a Gigalith. We actually have our Sense Scorch in the front spot. This, But this might be a bad move. This might be a bad move. Let's see. Sandstream, dude. Gigalith is nasty. I actually have him in my Pokedex. But... What we got? What we got? Everything is, uh, we'll go with the crunch. See if we can bring him down to at least half health here. Come on, show me half. Nope. We're gonna have to three hit this boy. He's gonna rock size. Jeez, dude. No! I knew I should have switched out. I knew I should have switched out. But it's all good. We're just gonna switch out into our little Rillaboom right here. Get some work in here. But it's good. We get some double money here. We get some double cash rocking out with this Rillaboom. Let's go with this drum beating. We'll take him out right here. What do we got? The four level? Seven level, actually. My fault. Seven level advantage right here. Pew, pew, pew. But these Pokemon are all third stages and they're just very strong. So no matter what, you just gotta watch out. Oh, and we crit it. It's a crit, baby. It's a crit. Beauty. What a beaut. He got next. I gotta pay attention to this one. We're getting buffeted by a sandstorm. No biggie, no biggie. A ride on. Oh, <laughs> little boy. Yo, we keeping out our Rillaboom right here. We keep it on our Rillaboom to actually just murk on you with this drum beating. See you later. I got this one, guys. Do -do 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 -do. Send it out. Whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> there we go. Night, night, right on. Give me all your XP, and now we keep moving along here. I believe I now have my Rillaboom in my front spot. I believe he was the second position from our set of Scorch. 
Because we're not going to heal up our sense of score. It's not really worth it too much considering we're almost at the end here. But here we go. We're going to head up here. Jeez, we got double battle after that. I saw him in the top corner. There was two other people there. But we're just going to keep taking on these battles and making our way to Winden. Winden is a beautiful city. It's like the final. It's a post-game city, kind of. But look at this. We got a Darmanitan, dude. This little ice Pokemon. This can actually do work on my Rillaboom, but I think we'll be fine. I think we can be fine here. We're going to start off with a nice little... Uh, we're going to go with the drum beating here. Play it safe. Go with the drum beating. See if we can do some work on him. Look, he doesn't have like Ice Beam or something. We'll be chilling. Nice damage. Take him out. Oh! No, please. I knew we should have went for the Wood Hammer. Wood Hammer would have murked him. He's just going to taunt. So, that's not bad. We can only use attack moves, which I was going to use anyway. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. We're going to slap him off with the knockoff here. Yeah, yeah. I love how it comes out. It's just like... It's like, boy, didn't I tell you? <laughs> just slap him over the head here. Yeah, nice little XP. Who's up next? Oh, not the hell. Not the hell. Uh, Phalanx, we're just going to switch out. That is a fighting type. We're going to go to a Corp Knight and just Brave Bird it. I love the way Brave Bird looks. It's just like... <laughs> Let me mark on him. Look, dude, Corp Knight's claws are cool, dude. Nice little sharp little steel claws. We got, we got Phalanx. Dude, Phalanx is so cool how it spawns and all that. Love it so much. It's like in multiple different parts and it comes together. Brave Bird. Brave Bird. Yeah. yeah. See you later, Phalanx. See you later, fool. Little boy. Little boy. <laughs> Corp Knight's going to take a recoil, but that's fine, yo. We did work right there. We can actually finish off his Pokemon, right? Does that finish off his Pokemon? No. What's he going to send out? I didn't even read it. I matched through it too quick. Who is it? Grab block. Dude, that's fine, dude. He's just a fighting type. He's dead with one drill pack. One drill pack will just eat this bad boy up. Night, night. Game over. Game over. <laughs> nice little XP. Grab block. Yeah, Glenn over here is going to give us some cash. $18,000. Beautiful. And now we got this double battle zone here. Is this the last one? I believe this is the last one. Who we got in our spots? I believe it's Grab block and my boy Really Boom. Grab block and Really Boom. What kind of Pokemon? They got. Oh no, I thought that was a Pokemon name. We got Heliolisk and Clink Clank. As you guys do remember, we versed these guys a while back. And they had originally first stages, but now they're evolved right here. But Heliolisk is actually a electric type, so we gotta watch out for that. We're actually gonna go with a nice little uh drum beating over on this Heliolisk. And then we're gonna pull over to this uh I, I think we're actually gonna go with this uh superpower. We're gonna drop some stats to go superpower on this clink clank right here. Drum beating comes in first. He outspeeds everybody here. Not bad, not bad. Let's go. One tapped him up. One tapped him up. I don't think we'll be able to one tap this clink clang. I'm hoping. He wants to learn end of war and now. We're good. We're good. You're chilling with our moves. Let's go. What's he using gear shift? What does this do? Switch his defensive attack? Or what's it do? Just boost his speed and his attack. Wow. Not bad move. Not a bad move. Well, let's go. Use that. Ooh! Superpower Mercs on. Yeah, I thought it was going to be super effective, but we drop our attack and our defense. But yo, that was so worth it. Just to Merc on that boy real quick. It was worth it. That's why that move is so strong, dude. It just uses everything, and then it just, like, drops your defense and attack. Which is not a bit bad deal. It's not a bad deal. Do they have any other Pokies? A Noivern. This is their only other Pokemon they have. Noivern's sick, dude. Oh, and a Togedemaru right here. We'll be able to take out this Togedemaru with one hit. Hands down here. Um, and we're just going to go with another drum beating. Oh, no, no, no. It's not very effective. Let me go back. It's gonna, we're going to fight here. We're going to go with the slam on this Togo. Oh. On this Noivern, actually. Then we're going to fly over with this uh, super effective Brick Break over on this Togedemaru right here. There we go. So Togo... Okay, we missed. And who's going to tell? We're not our crop lock. Wait, what'd that do? It didn't push us out? It usually pushes the Pokemon out, doesn't it? Do I have ability that like keeps it from doing that? But there we go. See you, Token tomorrow. See you later, Punk. We can actually do some damage here. He has Iron Barbs as its little special move. Not bad, not bad. Deal some damage to us. But yo, there's a lot of trainers on this route, which is pretty cool. Pretty dope. Get some levels up here. He's no one's going to get buffeted by the hill. So is all of us. Our Grappla and our Rillaboom. The Rillaboom's sick. I like how he just sits there with the drum in front of him. <laughs> That's pretty funny. We're going to go with this knockoff here. No, we're actually going to go with this slam. Because I doubt this thing really has any items right here. We're actually going to... uh, We're going to go with another superpower. <laughs> we're just going to roll out with another superpower here. See what's going on here. Reverend's going to use Hurricane. Actually, take out our... Wow, okay. Use it on there. Yeah, I was going to say he's taking out our Grab Black. But he took out our Rillaboom. Which kind of stinks. Which kind of stinks. But it's all good. What is this? This is Dragon and Flying. So we're going to come out with our uh, Toxtricity. 
And I don't mind using the Discharge because I don't think it's going to kill. Either our Northern's going to kill our Grab Block, but I don't think the Discharge should take out our Grab Block here. But dude, I don't know, dude. Toxicity is a strong little boy. He is a strong kid. Let's go. Discharge. Eh. We'll just go with Poison Jab. Let's go with Poison Jab. I thought it would be super effective, but it's not. So we're just going to go with Brick Break. Brick break to deal that little extra damage that I think we're gonna need to be able to take out the sniper. This thing's ah! Uh, I told you it was gonna kill it. I told you guys. What did I say? I said it's gonna take out my grab block. Poison jab coming out. Take it out. Come on, Toxicity. Take it out, Big Bog. Woo! Beautiful. Oh, dude, Noivern's an absolute unit. What is he? A Gen five? Gen six Pokemon? I think he's a Gen five. I think he's X and Y. No, that's Gen six. This is Gen 8 right here. I think he's Gen 6 or 7. But, okay, let's get moving on. I think we're done with this place. I think we're done. And look at this. We are done with this place. Any more trainers showing here? Oh, my God, dude. This entrance is gorgeous. This entrance is gorgeous. They have a Corbinite statue, it looks like. Are you kidding me? This place is absolutely unreal. That entrance was beautiful. Oh, my Lord, dude. But this is like the post-game area. These next two places are the post-game area, which are cool, which are... Pretty dope. Let's see how it looks. Are you serious? This place is sick. Absolutely unreal. I love it. I love it. Let's go make our way here. To this place? Are you serious? This is my second favorite place in this game. My first one was at uh, Balan Leo with all the mushrooms. Oh, that place was gorgeous. So is this one. But that is like the big battle stadium right there. We're going to have to actually head there, which is going to be awesome. We make our way with Hop right here. Let's see what he has to say. All right, Winden City. This is a place where I've become a legend at last. You get it, don't you, mate? After all, I'm about to become the new champion of the Galar region. That's it. I'm heading straight for Winden Stadium. Don't waste too much time, Jeans. You should head there yourself. I know that. I know that. But this boy really thinks he's going to be champion. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. He thinks, yo. We always knock him up in the battles. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.